this is the Crafty Blonde Girl, Rhonda Del Baccio, and um, showing you what I'm doing with my Big Happy Planner this year. This is kind of my personal planner, and I uh, did something a little bit different, so I thought I would show you. Um, I haven't redecorated yet. Whoops, sorry, excuse the earthquake. The Happy Planner is great, but it is definitely large and in charge. Let me rearrange myself a little teeny bit. Alrighty. So, um, well, this cover is one I bought from a seller that's not in business anymore. More's the pity. So I have just the rest of this year. But one of the things is I do love this the dashboard style of Happy Planner. But what I don't love is that they, uh, Happy Planner people have decided what words I should put here. Here's one that I didn't actually, it was such a busy week, I didn't even plan. I don't like those sections where there's errands. I don't have a butt ton of errands. And this big long to-do list and calls slash emails, I don't use that. Uh, bills to pay, I don't need an entire section for that. The only part I like of it is the focus on, but I also hate that there's these colors and you're going to dictate what the colors are. And they always do it really strange. I mean, that's December's color. But I don't really want a color that you tell me. I, I want to do my own. So um, so here's what I decided to do. And I, I didn't really find a planner that I loved for this year. Uh, and so what I ended up doing was I just took and printed off some nice fun patterns on paper and then I did an overlay for most of the months over the one that I had for 2021. And then on the inside, now, I like the, there's, this, there's the side in the dashboard planners from Happy Planner. There's the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday part that showed up on the right. And then the page on the left had... Uh, the focus on and those other things. Well, I like the idea of having sections, but I didn't like what they did with them. So I ended up buying an editable printable. And what I decided to do was on the back side of my month, instead of having the calendar start right there, I have a looking ahead at the month. And so I have places to put any important happenings and my goals and intentions and so forth in that. And so I will put the seller from Etsy where I bought the editable um, PDFs because then I, and there's no color, which I personally like because if I want to color it, I will take some inks or whatever and color myself. But I don't really like a lot of color other than what I put on with the stickers and stuff. Because I mean, otherwise you end up clashing your stickers or your whatever with something somebody else has decided. So... Um, for the month, this is just some pretty watercolor pattern. There's You can still see enough to write on it. And then from the same seller, she had a month. And again, it's just plain, which is fine because I will put washi and stickers and I can color if I want. I'm, I'm a stamper. I have inks and so forth. So I have that for each month. And then I printed off my own version of the uh, the focus page. So I have the place for focus and for habits and for good stuff and for whatever is important. So this is going to be one page per week. So most months will have four weeks. January happens to have five. So... I just printed enough out to cover that, and then I put an extra page for each month. February, I kind of liked what they had in the planner, so I left it, and there again, it's the same thing as I made my own. Oh, yeah, no, what I forgot, though, is that, hold on. That same idea for the month ahead, because at the end of the month, I like to evaluate and so I made up a month in review page. So that's where I can put the progress toward my goals, what challenges I faced, which ones I overcame, you know, meaning if there's maybe some I did, some I didn't or whatever. 
And then, uh, you know, for the intentions of what I wanted to manifest, what actually showed up. So I did, that's again, the same person with the editable um, PDF. And that was the, the focus on page or the, the left-facing page of a dashboard layout. So I have all of those for the months. And um, I have in the back some extra pages that I made and just some blank pages in case I want to write something. And if I, if I need to put down things that happened over a particular week that was crazy, I have pages like that which have all the different sections. So I can make Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. on them if I would like, or I can label them with different areas of life or different things that I wanted to track. So there's a few where well, they're mostly blank pages, but I can label those however I want. Those were based off of the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday portion of the dashboard planner where it had that list section up top and then the days of the week. But I didn't even want that. If I want them there, I can write them there, but maybe I want them for other things. So I hope that idea gives you some inspiration as you go about your planning. I thank you very much for watching. I hope that you will like and subscribe and also tap the bell and you'll get announcements whenever I make a new video. And as always, cheers to your blissful life.